In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Over their marriage, which has lasted nearly two decades, couple Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connolly have lived in some amazing homes. First, there was their Prospect Park West Mansion, then a Tribeca penthouse, until finally they settled into their current family abode, a $15 million townhome in Brooklyn. Jennifer Connelly and her hubby Paul Bettany are two of Hollywood's most in-demand actors and one of the industry's longest-running power couples, with a reported combined net worth estimated to be in the $50 million range. Jennifer actually kicked off her acting career well before Paul ever did. While he was still in the UK, Jennifer was working as a teen in films like Once Upon a Time in America and the Jim Henson classic Labyrinth. It was actually while watching Labyrinth as a teen that Paul says he fell in love with Jennifer for the first time. Little did he know that about 15 years later, these two would be working together on the set of Ron Howard's A Beautiful Mind. The pair became quite close during that period, but unfortunately, Paul was nowhere near ready to embark on a relationship with Jennifer at the time. Following 9-11, Paul says he was suddenly overcome with the desire to check on Jennifer's well-being. While speaking with her on the phone, he says that he proposed to her on the spot. Two years later, they'd be married. In 2003, this newlywed couple would purchase their first family home, a stunning Prospect Park West mansion they'd spend five years living in. After living here and a big city penthouse, now the pair has settled in an impressive Brooklyn townhouse worth multi-millions. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're checking out the homes of Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connolly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Soon after tying the knot in an intimate ceremony in Scotland, Paul and Jennifer flew back home to the United States where they put down some roots in a $3.7 million historic mansion located on the Brooklyn street of Prospect Park West. First built in 1899, this stunning 25 foot wide family home boasted over 6,500 square feet of space with seven bedrooms and five baths. It did a great job of blending turn of the century details with modern features like stained glass, mahogany columns, carved mantles, and even herringbone floors. The living room was set in the far corner of the ground floor and boasted one of the home's five gas fireplaces. In fact, this one has a mantle carved completely out of onyx. Not far from there, there was a cozy looking den with yet another fireplace along with multiple windows that allowed for a ton of natural lights. If you're looking to watch some TV or throw on a movie, then you'll probably want to head over to the media room which featured a giant couch. This home also had a sprawling dining room as well as a chef's kitchen with pantry, wooden floors, and a giant standalone island. Upstairs, the massive master bedroom spanned an entire floor and boasted soundproof windows and a dressing room built out of maple wood. There's also an entire level that was made for the couple's children that came complete with two large bedrooms and even a cute library with a cushioned bench. Elsewhere, there was a wine cellar with enough room for more than 600 bottles and stunning rooftop deck. While there isn't much land, it does boast a tiny backyard with a garden. Paul and Jennifer would eventually decide to move on, selling this mansion for $8.45 million in 2008. After moving out of Brooklyn, Paul and Jennifer wouldn't go all that far. They simply switched boroughs and moved into an eight-story red brick building that was first built in 1980 and converted into a co-op in 1984. They went from what was probably a much quieter neighborhood in Brooklyn to one that offers a ton of noise pollution, but also some panoramic views of the Hudson River that simply can't be beat. Located in the Manhattan neighborhood of Tribeca, Paul and Jennifer would drop $6.92 million on this spectacular 4,098 square foot penthouse in 2008. With this home having sold well over a decade ago, there aren't too many pictures of it to be found floating online, but thankfully there are still a couple listings that show what the home is like on the inside. A key locked elevator opened up to a private entryway and then led to a 20 foot long foyer. This was connected to a giant living room and an open concept kitchen slash dining room which boasted a sizable work island alongside white subway tile backsplash, a black marble farm sink, stainless steel appliances and two pantry closets. Located at the extreme far end of the home was a 400 square foot library and family room combo with a full wall of custom 
built maple bookshelves, a vintage wood burning stove, and a spiral staircase that wound up to a small glass enclosed sunroom and a 1,000 square foot roof terrace. Two of the loft's three bedrooms shared a bedroom sized walk in closet as well as a windowless L shaped bathroom, and the master suite offered a closet and a dressing room combo. The ensuite was spacious and windowed with poured concrete floors, double sinks, and a freestanding soaking tub with a separate open shower. After living here for only four years, Jennifer and Paul placed the home back on the market, listing it for $8.5 million. The only problem was that no one wanted it. Eventually, they removed the home from the market and continued to live there. Then in 2018, they finally found a buyer and secured an off-market deal for $9 million. Where would the couple head next? Well, once again, they decided to head across the Williamsburg Bridge to return to the world's most famous borough. Having spent the better part of the 2010s living in Manhattan, Paul and Jennifer found their new home in a $15.5 million Brooklyn Heights townhouse. Now, since this was an off-market deal, there are unfortunately no listings to go along that provide a detailed description or look at the interior of this new residence. What we do know is that the building was first built in 1840 and spans nearly 8,000 square feet of space, which is almost double the size of their former Manhattan penthouse. Previously owned by Timothy Ingracia, the co-chairman of Global Mergers and Acquisitions at Goldman Sachs, this longtime family home is also said to boast an English garden and an exterior, as well as two large terraces. But with so few details provided about this sale, perhaps the most newsworthy piece of this story is the fact that at the time of their purchase, this became the most expensive transaction for a home in Brooklyn's history. It wasn't a record that would last for long, however, as Matt Damon would then drop close to 17 million on his own penthouse nearby. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Be sure to leave some comments down below to let us know what you thought of the homes of Paul Bedney and Jennifer Connolly. Well, they certainly have lived in some gorgeous homes over the years, but I think my favorite was still their first historic mansion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!